everybody. Welcome to AJS News. This is the first of two videos we got for you today. But first, a brand new sponsor. A word from them, guys. I'm so happy about this partnership. Guys, we are sponsored today by WB Games and their latest amazing release, Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League Season 1. Joker is out right now. Check it out. Woo! Let's fucking play. It is so good. There is just so much content. There's like... I don't know. There's like like five new enemy types. There's like uh, two new bosses, completely new, based on DC characters that everybody loves. Oh. Yeah, it's it's wild. And uh, the Joker is completely free without any grind at all. You can access him immediately and then play additional story content. It says right here, the definitive Joker. It's He's way better than Mark Hamill. The definitive, exactly. I heard uh, many people are saying that this Joker is the definitive many Joker. Many people. Many people. Many, many people. people. So thank you guys so much here on April 1st for uh, mm -hmm. you joining us and uh, and our new sponsor, WB Games and the Jonkler. I mean the Jokler. Yeah. <laughs> I mean the Joker. Guys, <laughs> okay, obviously we are not sponsored. It, that. That feels bad coming out of my mouth. I feel dirty now speaking good upon that game because that thing is a disaster. <laughs> April Fool's. Uh, lazy April Fool's joke. But uh, go watch our... Uh, uh, in spirit of being lazy, uh, Suicide Squad Joker has just released with nearly no content. Recycled bosses, but there's presence on the ground. And if you're lucky, you can run at 12 frames per second. When I think the Joker, like I think of presents mm -hmm. and, and umbrellas and, and scarecrow themed stuff. That's what I and think. And mass insecurity. Yeah, the Joker. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, so welcome uh, back, Joe here, who missed our, our Godzilla review. So you're about to get blasted with atomic breath. Here you go. The stinky. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, there's another in there. Is that not the coolest fucking thing, Joe? Look at it's this. It's nice and cold. I know. <laughs> it's awesome. I don't know if you saw it on the green screen, but still, it's fun as hell. So, uh, we want to get Joe's eventual opinion. You haven't seen it, right? Nope. All right. Well, maybe we'll get you to see it, Joe, so that what you think of Godzilla, which, by the way, is doing unexpectedly well. Mm -hmm. 80 million, way more than they predicted. So people were in the mood for some monsters smashing, and I'm glad because that's my boy Godzilla. <clears throat> Kong. Godzilla. Kong with the power glove. Nintendo power glove. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you need to see the film, and then you'll be saying Godzilla because you, they, they, know who to, they know who the king of the monsters is, yo. Mm. You still holding on to that. It's over for him. <laughs> Over him, you can be king down below. I king up top. We'll see. Trust your joke. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna love it. It's written. Oh, All right, go ahead. I'm, 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 <laughs> go ahead, Alex. What the hell? Al what the hell has been going on in gaming news? Uh, NC Soft it has confirmed that Guild Wars Three is in development. Uh, what? Yeah. For real? For real. God damn. I, I thought that it's I would be too I would be too old by then and yeah. it would never come. That is awesome, man. I have great history with Guild Wars 2. You know, so many people when they come up to me and they say, Hey Joe, nice to meet you. Oh, I love your videos. One of the ones I get the most is your Guild, Guild Wars 2 video. You you seen the people that yeah. come up and say and the Guild Wars 2 video is like this huge video that i just i was so passionate about Guild wars 2 i thought it was a great fucking game and i like individually broke down all the elements to it so hey i'm excited count me fucking hype for Guild wars 3 it did take a long time so maybe a yeah. little bit of that hype has dissipated but i'm sure once that marketing material comes out and we see what they got cook, cooking up uh bring it back bring it back but i am a little worried because in this Bye, day and age sir, things man. have not been going did, did you? well mmos are uh, essentially the real original live service but done right are you they know? gonna do it like the so, new live services that they're I, doing now yeah, or I, back I, in the i don't know they're like these these ones that are happening now are fake love yes. fake fake live yeah, service and really yeah. bad live service 
but yeah. Yeah, I loved Guild Guild Wars One was the one that me and my friends played a lot of. Like the PvP was incredible. Um, I never played that one. So I was have very fond memories of it. So like I'm, the video game landscape has changed and the development has changed. So I'm I'm excited, but yeah. also very very worried. Worried, that it's yeah. Gonna be so. Um, I got you. Cool things to keep uh, in track of, and so as we get close to release date, we'll let you know. Mm-hmm. Um, Phil Spencer said some stuff that pissed some people off, um, and it's unfortunate because I think that this is this is a weird situation. So he blames capitalism for games, the game industry woes. He's saying, I don't get the luxury of not having to run a profitable, growing business, and that is unfortunately the truth of the way that the the way the get the gaming industry is is structured. Mm. Now. Talking about the system and how the companies and the corporations are run and who owns what and the shareholders, you want to have that conversation. That's a separate thing. Because, yeah. like, look, working within this ecosystem and all of the other game companies within this ecosystem, the games industry is shrinking this year. Uh, last year, mega boom, and now it's we're going towards shrinking. He's talking about some of the layoffs. And so people are saying that, oh, you know, some of these big companies should be able to. Um, you know, keep these employees instead of because they Microsoft laid off about 1,900 employees after the acquisition of mm-hmm. Activision, Blizzard, King, and and all those other ones. But um, it's an interesting situation where people are kind of um, you know he's kind of pulling the veil back and he's like, this is the reality of the world that we live in. I have shareholders, whether or not he should have shareholders or not have shareholders. Again, different thing. He's like, the reality is I have shareholders and I have to show them growth. And if I am not showing them growth, they are going to stop giving us money. And that is a big, then there is no video game industry as we know it. So um, people were kind of, again, people are naturally upset by this because they, we look at the human like relation that we have to some of these developers. And it's like, look, you're talking about people potentially losing their houses, people, you know, like struggling to, to feed their kids. And, you know, it's like, Oh, the the shareholders are these unrelated, like they never designed a video game. And so it's like, it's a horrible situation, but, um, that's just, that's kind of what he said. Sad, sad truth. It was weird that it's, you know, he actually said the, the thing that is true. So it's kind of unfortunate. Yeah. How else could you put it though? Hey, if the if the these AAA guys and all these bigger companies collapse now, obviously we probably need Microsoft and Sony and Nintendo. But if we were talking about uh, <clears throat> AAA publishers and stuff collapsing and having to make cheaper or games with smaller budgets, uh, or we have to rely on the indie indie industry for our games, we're not going to be playing a bunch of shitty platformers and stuff. There's great games out there, so. Mm-hmm. Hey, if that's what it takes to make this bad culture, you know, sort of die out, then, hey, oh, that's kind of how it's going to have to be. But that's not what's happening, man. Uh, video games make more money than the movie industry. And, you know, for them to pretend that, I don't know, things are going to collapse and then the it, the market won't then rebuild itself, reconstitute itself and come back in a different way, hopefully a better way. Um, I don't buy. So, yeah, obviously, he's going to justify the need to appease his shareholders. Yeah. But maybe that's... we don't need shareholders in the, in the first place. Yeah. I, like I said, the, the whole corporatism thing, that's a, you know, people have really strong opinions on that. But even the what our former small companies have shareholders, like CD Projekt, you know, was like the, the, the little guy for a, for a really long time. And the, but they built themselves into something bigger. Yeah. And that's just kind of the nature of as you grow yeah. and you want to... You know, I uh, Larian is is who who they are, and they do take money in from other other places. But if like, do they want to grow? And are they going to take money from other people? And then they have to make sure that those people mm-hmm. are happy. So, um, I don't think the video game industry is going to go anywhere because, no. like the movie industry, right. like you brought up, there are people with small budgets making fantastic, if not some of the best movies coming out today. And so there are little guys. Um, the old brain. I mean, yeah, I get it. You haven't even watched yeah. Cade the Torture Crossing. You <laughs> because don't get it is to say, impossible. You, little, it's not uh, impossible. You have to. Use, I to have to a like. Check, yes. And you have to send. He's gonna send a me Western a DVD. Union, and he sends you a DVD. A D, uh, what is it? Uh, um, HD DVD. Because it's not even a fucking Blu-ray. Um, a little movie called Godzilla uh, <laughs> minus one was a little bit of indie, yeah. at least compared to the hundred and ninety oh, yeah. million dollar Godzilla Cross Kong, which you need to see. Yeah. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of CD Projekt, uh, CD Projekt Red says the. You're going to have the same reaction. Yes. 
Uh, CD Projekt Red says the next Witcher game is not just repeating what was uh, done before. Um, and they're really increasing their dev team. So the dev team ramps up to over 400 people. All um, right. And so you should not uh, be expecting just a Witcher 3 in new clothing. I think it's a it's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'd probably be happy with a Witcher 3 in new clothing, honestly, with the same high-quality quests, high-quality oh, side quests, maybe a different you know, main character, us. If we can customize ourselves at a Witcher, that awesome would be Witcher. fucking yes. amazing. I don't know if that's what they plan. They might do it's a completely a new Witcher. Book. But, uh, yeah, uh, but for them to say that this early means they got something else kind of planned or a little bit of an extra mechanic, hopefully, to help it um, separate. Yeah, so this is uh, – he's answering shareholders. Uh, oh, shareholder great. Questions well, about- then I don't know if I'm going to take it completely seriously because yeah. uh, how often uh, CEOs and managers lie to their shareholders – or not necessarily lie, but uh, what do you call it? Make something sound a lot bigger lied. than it really is. Well, I mean, CD Projekt li- like literally lied to oh, the yeah, shareholders yeah, and got true. sued for it. Mm-hmm. And so I think that it's pretty – I mean, they probably are telling the truth here. Well, hopefully they, they release it when it's ready, like mm-hmm. they say they w- said they oh, were. Oh, yes. This yeah. was, it's like, this take your time on this. Thing. Don't – because, again, like, all right, we need to push this out and try to get more money because of the shareholders. Like, yeah. no, look at what happened last time. But Barked then, but then time. at the same time, the shareholders are going to be like, hey, we guys gave you an additional two years and you're still not done. It needs to come out now. And then like, well, we're not ready. And like, well, you need to release it now. Yeah. Then we so have the same down. situation happen. So, yeah, they're just going to have to tighten things up. They're going to have to great, have great management. So they and got have more great, people. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Workflows so that this shit doesn't happen again. Now, fortunately, it doesn't look like this game is going to be released on the cusp of a brand new uh, console generation, which honestly is probably... 80% of the issues that happened with C- uh, the Cyberpunk's release, <laughs> yeah. they, won't, they won't be having to work. Because, yes. I mean, again, it was one of the worst gaming experiences I ever ex- ex- yes, had on a console. Yes, PS4. Uh, yeah. So, and they're not revealing the release date. They said that revealing the release date is basically part of the marketing plan, and that's not something we're willing to do here. Honestly, it's too early. It's so early in the development that if they said a rough release date, then we get into that problem where now we have to have 400 people working nights and weekends, Ultimo Crunch, uh, to try to fit to, yeah. to fit that, so them waiting is is another sign of a good thing. Um, we also got some more news where they were asked um, about microtransactions in single player games. So uh, during an interview, uh, Peter uh, Nilubowitz uh, was asked whether future games will have microtransactions added to them, and then to this he replied, "We do not see a place for microtransactions in the case of single player games." Yeah, um, they shouldn't uh, be. That's Honestly, a, they shouldn't be. Right, that's a good fucking uh, statement to have, and why we originally uh, love CD Projekt Red and why they had built up a lot of goodwill with yeah. players before before recent events. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is, I mean, people are interpreting this, you know, it was, <coughs> they were they're directing it at Dragon's Dog, but the person who was asking the question, because if you put out a AAA title that's at the, the, the premium price and you're adding all of these, I mean, they're silly micro. Yeah, they're, they're, you know, you create inconvenience as part of game design and then you sell the, 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 the convenience later on. Solutions. It feels scummy and it feels silly because it's like all of this stuff is easily attainable within the game. So you're only tricking the yeah. dumb and impatient. impatient yeah. And if you're tricking dumb people, then I don't think very highly of you. It's like, come on, Capcom, what are you, what are you fucking doing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, we'll have we're not, we'll be looking forward for fast travel tokens or uh, you know barber shop tokens in Witcher Four. Mm-hmm. So that that's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, this week we you mentioned in the, the intro the, the Suicide Squad season one Joker season <laughs> amazing uh, officially came out to much fanfare. Now, oh yeah. Uh, Sponsored by WB yeah, Games, but not really. Uh, yeah, not not really. Uh, which, by the way, the, the, we're really spon- – I forgot. Who are we really sponsored by? I can't believe I forgot. You guys. We're sponsored by you guys that support us. If you would, if you like us playing these bad games, like, for example, the Joker DLC Season 1 and these bad live service games and want to see that kind of uh, stuff continue with angry rants and angry reviews, consider joining our Patreon. Uh, the links are down below. It forms the backbone of the mobile infantry that keeps us going even even if we get demonetized and, and uh, uh, censored and all that other stuff. 
thank you guys so much for supporting the Angry Joe Show and tell your friends or share a uh, recent video. Uh, and then, so I want to, you know, I, I joke around about Paul Tassi a lot. And I really appreciate him. I think he's a wonderful game journalist, but he also likes Destiny 2. And if that man can put up with Destiny 2, he can put up with almost fucking anything. But he could, uh, he could not put, put up, up with, with this. And that's to let you know how bad this stuff is. So, you know. Great just, article from Paul oh, on yeah. the disaster sure, of the launch. Yeah. I mean, so if you want to follow him on Twitter, read his, his Forbes articles. But he mentions there's no, uh, there's a motion comic intro, there's no story missions. Nope. No story missions. No Super new enemies. Lady. Grind 15 to 20. Old mission types. I mean, seriously, it's the exact same fucking shit yes. that we've we been doing. Yes, we played it. Uh, exact same. Their presence on the ground. And balloons. And, and balloons. balloons. And if you really, really, really rush, you could maybe unlock him in three hours, but most people are seeing about six hours of yeah. grind to, to unlock it's him. It, it really depends on, it. It really depends on who you're playing with, too. Yeah. Because you have to be at level 35. And if I'm playing with Joe and Alex, if me and Alex were grinding and then Joe shows up, I don't know, three hours late then he's not at level 35 and he cannot play yeah. and he cannot go into the mission where we unlock Joker. Yeah. Uh, the new incursions are just old objectives. The, um, you know, the boss fight, the major boss fight is just a reskinned campaign <sighs> boss fight and it's not even a good it's one. Green Lantern. Reskinned Green Lantern with literally the same attacks that Green Lantern used in the main game. The same animations, the same models and then the the issue is that i think that this is an awful representation of the joker and that happens a lot like i have i have unfortunately a solidified vision of the joker yeah. based on growing up watching batman the animated series fortunately yeah i so will like, change your thing too but so i sometimes i see new versions of the joker and i'm like this i don't like this and this is one that i just absolutely don't like i don't i don't think he's i think he's goofy and awful and i hate him I hate everything about him, and I feel bad for the voice actor because I think the voice actor probably is getting a lot of hate, and he didn't yeah, write any he, of the lines. It's not him; it's just yeah. uh, everything else. It's just it's awful. And so not as is, if there's a lot of lines. There really isn't a lot of lines. Or You're doing all of this for about maybe less than a minute cut scene. Yeah. Um, and it's, well, you can't do that bad. many interactions Har though because he doesn't even talk to Harley. Work. No, it's more yeah, work. she says something about him, and then Harley turns around, and, and he turn. He never actually. He doesn't even turn around to look at Harley. He's just looking forward the whole time. It's, it's bad. Yeah. So it's uh, it pretty much a, a, a massive disaster. Which, um, as I was doing research for why it's like, uh, how, how can they not interact? You know, what is, like, really the relationship? I went more deep into how Harley is in the Batman Arkham trilogy. Mm -hmm. The Harley in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is not the Harley that was it's in the Elseworld previous Hill game. Yeah. Well, then that would have, there must be an audio log somewhere that says this Harley is a completely different Harley yeah. than the Harley we know. But that's not what they're doing because they're trying to peddle the game because they wanted to get more sales that it actually was the Arkham universe. They just need to reverse that decision and say, yeah, we fucked up. It's nah, this is a shitty alternate universe. We're sorry. We, you, can can you give us exist. this one? Can you give it us this one? Because Harley is a fucking psychopath and she uh, would enabled children to be fucking killed and a lot of other fucked up shit and uh yeah so she wouldn't be acting like oh i was only this way because the joker abused me and batman said mean things it was, shut the fuck up yeah so not the real rock steady not the real universe not uh, the real joker so not the real harley sucks. not the real batman not the real superman not any. Yeah. <laughs> season one sucks Shocker. so we wanted to do Shocker. an extended review discussion and we were going to do we were going to sit down and we talk about oh you know the, the other aspects that we didn't get to i have some clips still from the original review that i wanted to play and then talk about the theory crafting of oh okay so maybe the justice league aren't actually dead and this and that but then this fucking thing came out and when we were playing it we were just like it sucked the air yeah. in the room like no. it, yeah you couldn't do any of that stuff. we have to cover this and it just turned into an angry rant so uh whether we do an extended review discussion still i don't fucking know maybe when season two comes out and it is exactly the same it and is. if you watch their developer video it is going to be exactly the same because one of them drops a hint in a subterfuge way that it's like, you know, in future seasons when you're rescuing these characters, they're going to be really fun to use. And that's telling you that every season, Brainiac is going to have, you're going to have to grind to get to the Mr. single Freeze. Brainiac Superman, mission. Right? And Do they will unlock. Yeah. The, so we don't know what that is. I, what would that unlock? 
because it's not a character. There's only one character per season. Mm -hmm. So the second half where we saw Superman Bizarro is going to be season one, part two, and I don't know what it unlocks. Yes. So uh, this maybe was, we can do it then. I bet you it's Our extended be fun. review discussion. No, I, I don't <laughs> it's think so. It's to be fun. Um, this was also just an absolute masterclass of what not to do. So we had this uh, AAA example of the worst season one that I've experienced, which is Diablo 4. Blizzard came out and said, look, we were up against the deadline of releasing the game. So, mm. And they told us, they, they sat down and go, do not expect very much from season one because, uh, you know, we, we didn't have a lot of development time. We wanted to get the game out on time. And they kind of let everyone know. They set that expectation. And it was shitty. It was a horrible season with very little mechanics. And, like, there would be these bosses that would you kill them and then they get back up and you kill them again and they drop a little turd thing and you clicked on the turd and you could put turds on your armor and everything was really fun. It was awful. It was ter truly terrible. This is worse. And it's like, I don't know how you top Blizzard. Like modern day Blizzard was the shining shitty example. And WB has now put out some, uh, a worse season one. Yeah. So congratulations. Yeah. Uh, you did through it. Through smiling yeah. faces yeah. and talking about how, how much content yeah, there is one. in their gameplay showcase yeah. that they did, 45 minutes. Pretty bad. Yeah. So the player count went from about 200 people up to 3,000 people at uh, kind of its its release peak. And it's back down to about 1,000. So we have uh, – it's 1,075 people. Are you doing the charts for Kill the Justice yeah. League? Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you did that because I was curious. And, and this is launch week. This is this is the fucking week after launch yeah. and it's done. Yeah. So, so they got a small bump and that's it. Yeah, it spiked. the The highest was about three thousand players, and then in about a day dropped to a thousand. It's been riding about averaging a thousand. Mm, so uh, yeah. It's, it, it'll be done within a week or two. Uh, we like to do predictions here. We never remember what we predict. Nope. Uh, it's kind of a thing. Sometimes you guys remember, but we never do. Uh, how many seasons remember. do we get? In Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League before this game dies. I have a controversial take, but I'm going to let y'all go first. Go. How many seasons? These are Come on. No, push, no, push don't three, overthink it. These are, these are what? 100-day seasons, don't right? Don't overthink Am I, is that, Do I have it right? I think it's 100-day seasons. 100-day so, seasons? Yeah. So they're, yeah they're, are there 90-day? Well, maybe 100. Yeah. Okay. Let's just say 100. Three. You three getting, seasons and season three, they will They stop. will finish season three and then they, it, there will be no season four? Correct. I think we get five seasons. So and you think one extra from what they've promised, and then they stop. Yeah. Okay. They can't uh, sustain well, this, though. It's I, I can guarantee good. you that there is going to be four seasons. Damn. Because <laughs> they've already cut. This stuff is already done. Oh, yeah. And that because there's so little here in season one, all they have to do, they could be running on a skeleton crew right now oh, yeah. and still get out all this content because there's no content in no. each of these updates. So because it's so pathetic and it's like, let's let's call it 7% of what a normal season from another game would be, they could actually sustain that for an additional four seasons. So this is my controversial take. I know we're going to get all four seasons. They're going to go through season four. And they could potentially do another eight and then end it there. Another so eight? No. The reason why I say this is because these four are already set in stone, right? And I think you either kill two Brainiacs or one Brainiac in each. I think it's two because we saw Superman. In, we saw Brainiac Superman. We killed the Brainiac Green, Green Lantern, Lantern in this one. So if there's two per season and there's four seasons, that's eight Brainiacs. We killed one in the main game, so that's nine Brainiacs. Oh, shit, it might be five. I think you might have hit it. So And the nine Brainiacs, and the, how many Brainiacs were there? There's 13. 13, so we got four Brainiacs left. That's... Two more seasons. So but I'll I, say C six, six then. Do you think it's going to go six? I'll go six. Yeah. Uh, I, I agree. But that. by then, they will have seen the players drop that, that they might truncate it back Big into time. five. Yeah. I mean, the, the issue that I'm saying. Very, very nice prediction, Alex. Yeah. I think that they, they are going to run on a skeleton crew. It's going to be super cheap. I think that they've got yeah. 300 people constantly playing, which means that it's actually more than that, right? Because if, mm -hmm. if 300 people are constantly playing, it's probably a couple thousand people logging in and logging out. Mm -hmm. And if those people are passionate and they're playing this dog shit game, that they're probably passionate enough 
pay for stuff. Yeah. And we are seeing videos. We are seeing people tweeting that they bought the new cool thing where the you know the shark has the Superman face on his head and it, ha, 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 ha. It's very funny. And then so they really enjoy that stuff. And if people are spending money, they're going to keep this going, especially if only four people are working on every every season. So yeah. Um, so at least five seasons, um, you know, a good prediction would be maybe five or six because they had to have made an ending. Or they had to have at least planned what the ending cutscene is after you kill all 11 Brainiacs. And you probably wouldn't get that at the very end of a season. They would probably make a whole new big deal about it, like the, the final season, right? So that's why five is most likely perhaps six. Well, the best part is if out. you buy the Joker, you get to the cutscene, you, you, don't, you don't see the Joker. It is going to be so... <laughs> It's going to be so amazing, Joe, if if this game proves us wrong and they do all four seasons, which would, I think, take us out to the end of this year, and then next year they do another four seasons. But no, because there's not enough Brainiacs to kill. I don't know. But it's so easy that it's like, oh, the Brainiac has weakened so the you, the multiverse's defenses, so now evil Lex Luthor, who has been studying okay. Brainiac, can come Stop through. Stop giving them stupid ideas. Stop giving more. them stupid ideas, Mongol Alex. Mongol comes from space, or we actually start using, like... Or Godzilla comes in, and you guys think that I'm... that franchise, too? You guys think I'm, I'm joking. Actually, Godzilla just fought Superman, and guess what? Godzilla won. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking. Like, Superman no falls. He, he he does the um he does his heat heat vision versus atomic breath. And that's what we wrote for Superman who can move almost as fast as the Flash. I was going to say, just swing him like, around, yeah. throw him in outer space. What it is, No, what it is, Joe, is that he underestimated Godzilla. And the only reason why is because motherfucking Billy Batson jumps on Godzilla's head to try to uh, Shazam on him to take him out. And when he Shazams, he turns into the little boy Billy Batson. So Superman has to fly and save him. And then he gets hit with the attack. Atomic breath, and then Superman is out. So that doesn't count. It's not Godzilla Billy's one, God Superman Billy. zero. It's Billy's fault. It's you, the stupid comic book writers had to write it to where nope, Superman had to save somebody, and he sacrifices himself. <laughs> Godzilla vs Superman in comic stores right now. This is why, and I don't agree, but this is why so many people don't like Superman because some of the people writing for Superman shouldn't be writing for Superman. I would have sacrificed. I, I, I actually think that the comic is is actually pretty good. But I would have sacrificed Billy. It's like one for like billions. It's like okay, I'm gonna get rid of guys. You can fly all like, it's like so Justice fast. League you can is. roll back time. You just like and build bricks. And then oh, you can also with your <laughs> mind bricks have around bricks. him. And then yeah, you, you stop building and then, bricks. And then Joe. throw. <laughs> then, that, no. He's like oh no, the his little tiny hands. <laughs> yeah, you can't see. <sighs> <laughs> all right, that's that's all I got. What, what else? You got? I got some stuff. Yeah. So, uh, Twitch bans booty, booty butt, booty delicious butts, butts are banned. No butts. Booty butts banned. Uh, <laughs> lately, the uh, the women, the uh, what would you call them? The thoughts of uh, Twitch have been trying to find ways around the meta so that they can get the the horny guys to masturbate to their their gameplay and their stuff. Because they don't want to stay on cam sites and porn sites. Instead, they want to go on Twitch, which is primarily for video games. Twitch so people kids. have come up with creative things like this. This picture here, uh, this chick on Twitch is in green <coughs> uh, booty shorts. And then green screen, just like this green screen right here. And then she puts the gameplay over it. So Twitch is uh, going to, uh, is cracking down on cracking that. Cracking down? Ooh, <laughs> nice. I made an unintentional pun. Content on Twitch is always evolving. They mutter. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Unable to recall how many versions of that statement they've composed before. We want to make sure our rules work as intended and keep up with emerging behaviors. It's like a constant cycle. It's it like is. they smash them down, then they come and they come up with something creative, and, and then Twitch is like, takes a while. Like, mm. Oh, I got it. Or what is it? Post nut clarity. Po they got to do the post nut clarity for first then they come and they and they bash it down so not only would you do in the green screen uh uh butt uh shorts but also a camera up uh so a clear transparent chair where the chick will just sit there with her uh bikini 
And uh, <laughs> I was like, Jesus. oh, look at this joke. <laughs> and then uh, so Twitch had to be like, OK, no more of this. Starting Friday, uh, content that focuses on intimate body parts for a prolonged period of time will not be allowed. So all the girls that were doing this went crazy and they went even more like sexual and stuff up until Friday. And they said, um, what is it? Just enjoy it until Friday, basically. Yeah. <laughs> the, some of the ones were dividing up the screen into like quadrants and half the screen was another camera and because they were playing video games lying face down. <clears throat> and it was just like a pretty much a butthole shot uh, like in a tiny little thong <laughs> bikini with gameplay just tight like little tiny up there and then like a front shot of nothing but cleavage in the bottom left and it's like look oh you want to watch what you want to watch but it's like sometimes the platform doesn't I just work. don't understand why they still have the pools and the thing I get it that it's it like makes money let let well, you're right. I do understand yeah. that. It's like, well, people were, have already given them solutions. It's like, hey, have an 18 plus category or have a 16 plus category or Twitch. If this makes a lot of money, make a separate little service. Twitch Red. Why are they on this particular service instead of that service? Well, it's because of the audience, the captive audience. So you have, and if you don't want to protect the audience of younger gamers that are younger than 16 or 18 that are just there to watch video games and then they see this and they're a little and they're constantly you know, recommended too to, even yeah like you just pull up anything and it's just like hey people who watch channels you watch watch this it's like i'm disappointed that people <laughs> watch the same channels as me but and then ultimately this is the where the, did that go wrong <laughs> yeah the the old man moment when you realize that like we no longer have our finger on the pulse of everybody right yeah why are these microtransactions in video games well because Billions we of seem, people. We seem to be losing them. the Two battle there. Yeah. For the monopoly. <laughs> we seem to be losing the battle there. We have some elite soldiers. We're like the Adeptus Custodes, and we're holding out. So yeah. we're fighting for So I could still stream on my crotch cam then, right? Where, like, oh, right. Booty your crotch shorts. cam. So, uh, is it, no booty. No, because that focuses no. on an intimate, intimate, intimate body area. part. Yeah. And, <laughs> it, you know, and some people would argue in the comments they're pissed huh? off. This it does not an intimate body part. Poo poo comes from there. Yeah. There you go, Joe. That's the kind of people who defend. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it makes me sad that this is what people want. People want to give everything to just, okay, you know, it's wild. <laughs> it's like, are you? And it's just, it's, they don't even use the pools anymore. There's no actual pool. No. They just sit in transparent chairs with a bikini on. And in the background, there's like an inflatable pool about this big that Muff, this Godzilla couldn't even sit in. So, oh, it's hilarious. But whatever. We will, I guess what they want. we want to allow it on Twitch because Twitch creative, is though. where <laughs> the kids are. I'll and, give them that. They're getting creative. And it's making the platform Mine, money. Minecraft and, 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 and yeah. Fortnite yeah. viewers need to uh, go to that. Cool. Next is, uh, did you know that No Man's Sky uh, has just added another one called Orbital? Here's a little uh, video. And they finally add ship customization. Ship custom is our most requested feature of all time. Finally in the game, a ship editor for customizing your shiny space vehicles, making Starfield completely useless at what, this what point. What game? Uh, no Man's Sky. No, the other one? I don't remember that one. Oh, that one is called Starfield? Uh, don't remember that Starfield? One. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It came out so like it's, five years ago. <laughs> it's it's wild. Well, maybe Joe, maybe it's because No Man's Sky is so good now, and he released it wasn't that great, and it got better and better and better with That's all very these generous. free. No Man's Sky sucks. These are release. free content updates. When you look and when people are like a Suicide Squad, Joe, why are you complaining about this update? It's free. It's like yeah, but you can and. They have a bunch of microtransactions. They have a bunch of battle passes. They are milking their audience, whereas you have a completely free update like this that's significant, that adds brand new content, brand new Not features. Not the same bullshit for grind. Right. For and hours. then, and sure, there are probably some microtransactions involved or, or, hell, I don't even know. So I think that that is how it's done. And to finally add ship customization, it just shows up uh, Starfield and that thing is, is dead. But well, what, the point had... I was making is maybe Starfield will start adding updates, but they're still like, they take a year to fucking put out a patch or some they bullshit. They did. They had the update. You had the story. Oh, right. The yeah. camera. You could smile now. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah you could Pretty do smiles. Good. Yeah. Right? And 
You can take pictures of the things. <laughs> yeah. The game is what like... are they doing? <laughs> what are they? I know there's DLC coming for it. Yeah. They, they promised it. They had it planned, right? Yeah. I mean, so. eventually you look at it and you go, look, we just need to focus on Elder Scrolls Six, which, you know, the massive teams are working on. And They said it was good. We said that last. Okay. <clears throat> and then finally, uh, a creative director for mm. Journey, oh. uh, when he's preparing to launch the kindest MMO on PC. I like Journey. Uh, yeah, it's very, um, what do you call, relaxing kind of thing. Well, this guy must be in his own bubble because he said, nobody is born toxic. That's oh. not true. Oh, oh, so it's, it's one of those Have things. you been to the YouTube comment <laughs> section? <laughs> I don't think this man has been to the YouTube comment section. Uh, and fuck how you, do you, fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck you, fuck that guy, fuck your mother, fuck your father, and fuck my uncle to fuck your uncle. I don't know. <laughs> but I tell you what, I think that, uh, I mean, if that's Bless true, please explain how there's some children that fucking, you know, that's are amazing. cruelty to animals. Yeah. Seem... Anyone who's ever worked with a large amount of children knows, like, oh, this person is sweet. And I love the idea that this person's like, no one is toxic. It's like, that's an incredibly stupid thing to say, and it's provably <laughs> wrong. You, but you're, you're so precious. It's like, you're look, precious. you want to make this He's in his bubble. He wants to build his bubble, and I'm all for it because I think that, you know, there is a lot of toxicity in games. Yes. But they're also, a what lot. you can do is you can just fucking turn off chat and voice chat. Oh, I do all the and time. Then I, I would learned. like to believe that every small little baby born is innocent and... and Seen the omen? A, mm. <laughs> and that is not mm. toxic out of the hood. The baby don't want to go on YouTube to type He's mean got shit to us. No. Six, six, six. But I mean, how do you explain psychopaths and fucking killers and animal cruelty? Now, I'm not talking about you know little children that don't know better and it's their first time interacting with an animal because sometimes they do get a little rough with the animals and you have to teach them there better. Are, yeah. But there's ones that are fucking crazy ass ones that grow up like. Um, that you have to make Netflix documentaries on and yeah. shit. Uh, what is that documentary called? Um, There's a, I, that's all Netflix has. Don't right? mess with cats, something yeah. like that. Don't mess with the internet. Don't, oh, don't yeah. watch it. It'll break your fucking heart. Yeah. But it's also a good story because that motherfucker gets what's coming to him. Yeah. Gets his up and comings. Anyway, so, but yeah, um, I, I, I like the sentiment, but it's yeah. not, unfortunate. He's precious. He's yeah, precious. It's like, look, I want, I want. You to, to the succeed. The world is not all rainbows and cotton yeah. candy. Yeah, because it's <laughs> not everybody is like other Joe. Other Joe is the worst on video games. That's I know. People. I know. Dead right disease. in person, Joe. Yeah. That's where he takes out all of his anger. Yeah, is it's horrifying. <laughs> okay. It's horrifying. He has he locked up Charlotte. In, in gas station sim, he locked her in uh, a little tiny trailer. She wanted to get paid, and, and he won't pay her. And he like. Well, that's we gotta get though. we gotta get the supermarket simulator video up. And then let's see what you well, do that's in that. Not Charlotte. Yeah. All right. What 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 was that? Gas station simulator. Gas station. That one's play. already up. Go watch it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I got. I want to say thank you to you guys. I want to say thank you to our sponsor, WB Games, for making the most amazing game, Suicide Squad, mm -hmm. Kills the Justice League, with tons and tons of content and a new season that just came out in the greatest iteration hours of Joker and hours and hours that has of ever play. happened. Yeah, new story missions, new enemies, new bosses. Guys, go out and play this right now. <laughs> Okay, sorry. sorry. Instead, uh, don't that. support that game. <clears throat> support us. Support our, our our show, the Angry Joe Show. We got a Patreon. We got a Twitch. Uh, you could get some merch. You can get all sorts of stuff. Thank you so much for sticking with us after all these years. And we will see you guys in part two. Uh, next news episode up next. And we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. <laughs>